wing modification just like we have discussed yes or no we have discussed uh, modification in uh, your antenna then we have discussed in leg now we are uh, in mouth parts also now we are discussing in your wings also huh first one is tagmina four wings are leathery tough and darker in color they protect the membranous hind wing you see this is the four wing of grasshopper this is the hind wing of grasshopper you see which is darker in color four wing or hind wing four wing sir that is leather that is leathery in nature and they protect the inner hind wings but these are not useful for flight you see the picture this one okay this one you see okay in case of your grasshopper in case of cockroach like this a huh? cockroach what happens these are leathery in nature okay but these are not functional wings only they protect the inner hind wings clear up to this what is tegmina clear yes sir yes sir this is tegmina but this is known as membranous wings this is known as membranous wings next you see elytra where we have discussed elytra you tell can anybody tell what is elytra you already have discussed in the practical coleoptera sir in case of coleoptera the four wings are Cole ha huh, good <coughs> okay her voice is breaking anyway thank you okay the four wings are hard in nature yes or no they are known as what your elytra hind wings this is this one huh? hind wings are membranous in nature they are your useful for flight the four wings of coleoptera and dermaptera this is also one order are more hardened to form a horny sheath highly sclerotized over the hind pair of wings this is the hind wing and this is the fore wing okay uh, hind wings and abdomen it is without clear venation you see no venation is there yes or no elytra are not for flight uh, that is not for functional wing they are only for protection okay four wings of beetles here you can see this is the elytra and this is the membranous wing this is the tegmina this is the membranous wing this is the tegmina this is the membranous wing clear yes sir okay next you see hemi elytra hemi means half elytra means elytra yes or no half of the wing will be elytra half of the wing will be membranous you see even you see this is fore wing this is hind wing half of the fore wing is elytra half of the fore wing is membranous this is known as what your hemi elytra understood yes sir anyhow two wings are there one is fore wing one is hind wing again in the fore wing again divisions are there uh, the towards the body axis that is your elytra outward is your what membranous this is known as what your hemi elytra okay just once you read it, the base of the wing is thick like elytra and the remaining half is membranous this thickened portion is divided into corium clavus and cuneus i will show you clavus or cuneus and embolium they are useful for protection and flight okay four wings of your bugs example is four wings of your bugs okay box means which okay. order hemiptera sir okay hemiptera good ha huh? so you see this uh, particular this is the four wing of hemiptera four wing of bugs okay up to this that is elytra and this is your membranous how it is divided embolium will be there cuneus will be there corium will be there clavus will be there understood yes or no divided into embolium part cuneus part part then your corium part and your clavus part clear yes or no yes sir you see while writing in the exam you may not remember corium clavus and all but at least you remember half of the fore wing is elytra half of the fore wing is membranous uh, elytra is towards the body axis and membranous is membra <coughs> membranous is outwards yes or no membranous is outwards that is what your hemi elytra that much you write sufficient this embolium and all not uh, that much important for exam point of view membranous everywhere we have discussed hind wing of grasshopper hind wing of cockroach hind wing of your uh, which one what next what you discussed beetle hind wing of box beetle everything, everything is your membranous only a, all the wings of your house flies all the wings of honey bees ha huh, those are uh, all the wings of your dragon flies okay they are all what your membranous wings clear this one ha huh? okay 
Next use is scaly wings. This is in case of Lepidoptera. Scaly means what? There what happens? Different type of scaly colorful uh, structure will be there which provides color to the wings. Huh? Wings are thin membranous but covered with unicellular scales all over the surface. That is known as what is scaly wings. They are useful for flight. Both the wings are of moth and butterflies. Lepidoptera order. Yes or no? Here you can see these are the membranous this is the membranous, this is the membranous, okay, this is the scaly wings in case of butterfly and moth. Clear? Yes or no? Yes sir, yes sir. Another one you see, fringed wings. Wings are highly reduced, here you see, wings are highly reduced with fringes of hairs, yes or no? Fringed with hairs, you see so many, your hair like outgrowth is there, yes or no? The wings are fringed with long marginal hairs giving a feather like appearance example both wings of thrips we'll see in the next class what is a thrip you see this is the thrip this is the thrip you see their wings reduced wing yes or no just like a stem it is looking yes or no and it is fringed with wings this is known as fringed wings example is which one example is thrips 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 order is Trips belongs to which order? Tyson of Tyson of Okay. Next you see fissured wings, fork like wings. Yes or no? Four wings are longitudinally divided into twice. You see. This is the four wing divided into two halves. Yes or no? Huh? Okay. Next you see the hind wings are divided into three. One, two, three. Yes or no? Huh? Four wings are divided into two fork and the hind wings are divided into three fork. Whereas hind wings are divided twice into th three arms. Yes or no? Twice. Twice into three arms means what? First is divided into two. Last is independently divided. Understood this meaning? Yes or no? Hello. This meaning clear? Yes, sir. Hmm? You see. Divided twice into three arms. Yes or no? First divided smallly, then two arms then independently divided into three arms yes or no that is the meaning of that all the fork possess small marginal hair you see small marginal hairs will be there and they are useful for flight both the wings of your plume moth huh? example is plume moth this one you remember okay next you see halter where halter is present where we have discussed where halter is present where we have discussed Housefly, sir. Housefly. Which wing is modified? Four wing or hind wing? Hind wing, sir. Hind wing. wings are modified. Very good. You see, here the four wing is there, and this is your hind wing. This is your hind wing modified as your halters. Huh? Hind wing of houseflies are modified into small microscopic structure known as halter. So, uh, looking, uh, you see, this is the halter. Yes or no? They act as a balancing organ. That's why you see, you may catch the mosquito, but not the what? House flies, they are very swift in Yes or no? Very speedily they will move. Hind wings of house fly and front wings of male stylopid also. Huh? This is not important. This one you remember, house fly. Because for stylopid, that is known as pseudo halter. So, what is pseudo halter? In case of strepsiptera or stylopid, what is happening? You see, in case of house fly, what happened? Hind wings are having the halter. But in case of your stylopid strepsiptera, four wings are modified into halter. Yes or no? Can you see? Four wings are modified into halter. That's why it is not known as pseudo halter, uh, but that is known as pseudo halter. Clear? When halters are present in Strepsiptera in place of four wings, that is known as pseudo halter. Clearly understood or any doubt is there? Achha sunu, subscribe karte vakna ghanti baja dena. Taake jab mein online aau, to tumhare phone ki bhi ghanti baje.